I have finished spreading my warp out in the rattle. This is embarrassing. I realized that I had grabbed the wrong warp calculation sheet. For this warp, it's actually 12 inches wide, still 14 inch per inch. So um, now I have to measure and make sure that I've got it in centered. Uh, it's 12 and a half inches wide, which fits fine. And if I go to the halfway mark and measure over, I can see that it is not centered. So I have to move everything over a little bit. Uh, to find the center and I need to move everything over one inch and so I will just move everything over. You want your warp to be in the center of your loom. There. Now I check again from the center and I am, my warp is centered. You can see that all the yarns back here are tangled. So to fix that you come back up to your warp where it's still in its nice chain and you can give a tug. You want to make sure that all of your ends back here are going fairly straight with no great big huge loops. Spreading across and I can see that I am fairly straight. And now I'm going to want to take and release the apron rod that is on the back apron and I'm going to want to lash these two together. So I usually start you want to make sure that there's no knots in your cord because it's very hard to pull a knot through. You want a cord that's fairly firm. I'm going to start by lashing just to the bar Make sure it's nice and secure. And then I'm going to do a blanket stitch. So that means I'm going to create a loop. I'm going to go underneath my bar. The end of my rope is going to come up through the loop. And I'm going to pull it snug. I'm going to move over an inch, inch and a half, do the same thing. Make a loop underneath the bar. Pull it up through. Make sure it's snug. When you get to your warp, just separate your warp a little bit. Here's my loop. Here's my end through the loop. Make sure you're not pulling on your warp. Snug it up. And you do that all the way across. You don't have to do it all the way, all the way across the entire bar. Um, you just have to do it a couple of inches to the left of your warp, all the way to a couple of inches to the right of your warp. And you want to make sure that you lash those two bars together. And you go all the way to the end. And I usually put snug everything up so it's nice and snug so it's not going to be loose on one side and tight on the other. I want to secure my end so I'm going to keep this part straight. I'm going to take my long end and I'm going to make a couple of half hitches. So pretty much the same as a blanket stitch. This part stays straight and then I am going to wrap around like that. There's one. Same thing, this part stays straight. Wrap around like that. There's two. And that will secure my end. Then I'm going to just take the rest of this and weave it gently in and out so that it's not floppy. <laughs>